What's up, YouTube viewers? This is another video by Murph again. Uh, today I'm going to show you about uh, download, and uh, it's a pretty much a Photoshop mimic. But if you ever want to make a, like a watermark or a cool, you can customize your own background, customize pictures, edit pictures. You know, take out the red eye, and uh, there's just a lot of cool stuff in this program. It's called GIMP, and I don't know if a lot of you have heard of it. It's over YouTube a lot. Uh, a lot of videos on YouTube, but I'm just going to show you a couple cool things you can do with it, how to download it, um, and some cool features of it. So, go ahead and go to your internet browser and go to Google, and go ahead and type in GIMP. Click the first site, and it's a nice little website, you know. Uh, it's a .org website, so it's a uh, it's safe, you know. Not that just because it's .org, it's safe. But uh, so far, I've used it, no problems. Uh, go ahead and press download, and go ahead and download the version. They've got different mirrors for it. I don't know if you're from Ireland. Go ahead and download that. But it's a it's a cool program. Go ahead and download it. Probably right there, Windows 2000. Um, if you have Vista, I think it'll work. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm positive it'll work. But so you got got it and uh it'll take you know probably 10 minutes to download i don't know but uh cool little program got your layers here just like adobe photoshop and this is actually where i made wa my watermark which you can see right down here uh this is where i made my, all my watermarks my backgrounds in my other videos uh pretty much anything so i'm just going to show you how to make a just a real simple background but it looks cool so make it the size of your screen which I think that's it I'm not sure uh... go ahead this is uh... you got all your buttons uh... square maker circle maker uh... free select tool fuzzy select tool cropping this this is a cool tool it's a pass tool I'll show you in uh... more videos how to use that eraser text uh, the text is very good, but the only downside to the text is you can't make borders with it. Like if you wanted like a red border with a white background around the border or around the letters, then you're gonna have to go in manually. Or I'm sure there are ways, but uh, I'm not sure how to do that. So uh, then you go to filters and where is it? Okay, so now that you got your uh, background in, go to filters and oh, I'm sorry. All right, now you have to first you have to create a layer. Okay, click over here. Okay, layer, new layer. Uh, just name it something if you want. I don't care. Uh, window or filter, render, nature, flame. All right. So just go through that. Uh, every time you get something new, I don't really like that one. So let's just do a different one. It'll it it randomly chooses different ones. Okay, so filter. So it picks random ones. You know, every, every once in a while you get a cool one. But yeah, that one's okay. Let's try one more time. Alright, that's a pretty cool one. Alright, so this one will do. So right here you can adjust the brightness from one, you know, make it like really white, make it cool. So I'm just gonna keep it at one for now. We'll change that later. Camera, this is where you can zoom it, zoom in on it. And then move it left and right, you know, if you want it in the top corner of your page. But right now you can choose edit and what one looks cool? That one's cool. All right, so you you can just go through here for hours and just gives you different types of it. And that one and that one. Okay, so got that one. So all right, so you got your thing. Zoom in a little. All Alright, now I'm just messing around with here 
with this here, you know, you can make it as pretty as you want. Let's make it see that's still white, but let's make it like that. Alright, so this is just a real simple video. So you just press OK and it's gonna render it, it's gonna draw the flame. So it takes a while, but not a while, you know. A good twenty seconds maybe. But uh you know it's nothing too big, you know, but it's gonna Okay, so now let's draw it. It drew it. Yeah, drew, okay. So it's pretty cool, you know. It looks pretty cool, so that'll work. So if I'll when you go to save it, oh first, you know, let's put a nice little Put a nice little text in there. All right, color white. Make it bigger. All right, that looks cool. All right, good enough. Okay, let's name it YouTube background. And you're gonna want to save it if you want it as your background. Sometimes it doesn't work out like the when you make your template, it's not exactly the size of your screen. So we're gonna name it dot jpg dot jpeg. So go ahead and save it. And then it's gonna ask you if you want to Yes, replace. Uh if you want to export it. You do want to do this. Go ahead and press export. All it's gonna do is merge all your layers together. So instead of having three layers right there, it's gonna smush it into one. See? Alright, so it's saved. So, you can go ahead and mess around with it. First time I got it, I messed around with it for, you know, a couple hours. But then you can go into my documents and my pictures. And let's find. Oh, this is one that I made earlier. See, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it just depends on what it makes. So, let's go down to here to YouTube background see pretty cool alright so close that properties this is just for you guys that don't know how to do this browse YouTube background open you want to press stretch now if you hit if you saved it as a regular one you would not be able to stretch it you could, but instead of being white, it would just be like a dark grayish black. So, doesn't look as cool. Now you got this cool new background. So, uh, if you like the video, go ahead and rate, comment, and make sure to subscribe to my videos. Costs you nothing. Only thing it costs you is you get new videos from me, new cool videos. And, uh, I'll try to make more GIMP videos in the future. There's tons of stuff you can do with it. So, uh, Thanks a lot.